That was staged, by the way. Where's my lead? Oh God, I'm, no, I can't do that. There's a microphone in the headphones, but the lead is tucked here. It's not worth explaining. I just, I, I just wanted to stage that because it looks cool. But I have just emerged from half an hour of, of relative peace and much needed. Sometimes you get tested by. Do you know what? I'm going to be as kind as, as possible because I, I made this video before and I said things that were true, but I thought, you know what, like in my development, um, I need to be harsh with myself and make, make sure that I keep moving forward in terms of my language and my composure. And, uh, you know, I had some, it's not worth explaining the whole story, but when you get someone who sends you nasty messages and then threatens you and stuff like this, not, not just a stranger, um, someone that you tried to talk to about their behaviour and um, it doesn't matter what you've said like you just get something back that is really repulsive and extreme and you're like no one was talking about such and such where did that come from and uh, when it ends in this person oh I'm going to beat you up and oh ah oh. You know, I thought, uh, you know, because I did, I did warn, I said, look, you've left all this evidence, I'm not going to make this, you know, I'm not going to make this public, as it were, so just grow up, just leave it at that. But it's like a Trojan horse of an apology, it's like, there's not, it's not a real apology, it's like, it's a way of sneaking in that second attack, and it, and it ends like that, so. I did something that... <clears throat> I very likely would never do again, but the the, op or the the opportunity was perfect because this isn't just some stranger that you would ignore, and it's someone that it's been way more than just once, extremely disruptive, etc. I'm trying to choose my words carefully and respectfully, even though <clears throat> even though uh, I shouldn't really care to be honest. So I called this person's bluff, you know, in the uh, community. I put up a video saying, you know, if you want to threaten me, let's do it. Come here. You know, I gave a location, stripped to the waist, nothing below the belt, this only, me and you, let's film it. Instead of, um, you know, if you want to make these nasty tax in private let's make it let's make it public and uh, make a spectacle out of it and uh, you know obviously wasn't expecting to have his bluff called like that and um, you know when you get a, a nasty bullying kind of attitude like that um, you're almost left with no choice so uh, I promised my teacher that I would uh, ignore the situation now and um, trouble is uh, you can't not deal with something if it's right there in your space in, in, you know it's not something that you can just if it's there if it's disruptive it, you know it has to be dealt with one way or another <clears throat> and if that can't if the way that you can't if 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 you can't deal with that by simply walking away, then they, I don't, you know, but let's just hope. I hope it's all over now. And, um, oh, this, I really have to hold back here. Oh, you know, when you just, just sat there with your head in your hand, you're like, what the, what the, yes like that so uh, let me get my, my necklace back on WTF life's hard enough at the moment without someone's twisted jealousies and total lack of people skills to deal with <clears throat> it's a lovely peaceful place this you can just see 
just the tip of Kit's Coty there on, a, on a, another sunny day. It's 20 past three now, so it's the, the sun is on its way down. So not quite as hot. And uh, the subject for this video is morons. No, it's not morons. It's the contradiction between this kind of Buddhist ignore everything, give love, you know the stereotype, whether it's exactly true or not, different traditions have different ways of you know, expressing this. And then that kind of more pagan mindset of like, you know, just have respect and um, be respectful, but if you keep pushing it, you know, you'll get dealt with. Both can be right, can be wrong. It obviously depends on the on the circumstances and um, you should only ever have to engage in that kind of negativity if, if you absolutely have to and um, I I, um, I called the shot that I had to the other day and um, I meant what I said absolutely I meant what I said but over Never again, made a promise, leave this. Um, made a promise to someone that I respect that I would uh, handle things differently in future. So I trust that person's uh, judgment. And um, you see, that's the thing, like, you know, when you behave properly, you know, you can tell someone else what to do or attempt to make an adjustment and you're gonna get a, a positive response you know like if you're if you're a respectful person like you know when you when you deal with someone who's who's respectful and intelligent and they say to you or they're allowed to cross you they're allowed to judge you they're allowed to make suggestions and uh, if you respect them enough then um, you know through the example that they've set then uh, they can change you, you know, uh, and that's that's a lovely thing because we all are just well, actually, this is a lie. We don't all just want to get on. Some people are just a pain in the ass, and that's the end of it. And they ain't ever gonna learn, you know. <clears throat> I uh, I get the feeling that one of these days I'm gonna make a vow, but I'm gonna make a slight change, a slight you know, addition of a couple of extra words. Well, maybe, I don't know exactly, but you can't help everyone. Some people don't want to be helped. They just... But... Miracles do happen sometimes, but it's not likely, is it? <clears throat> so it's, it's difficult. It's difficult and, and it's boring. God, it's so boring. See you later.